Why is Frowny always so polite? Because he's Agent Omen. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Welcome in my friends. I hope you are doing well. <laughs> That's the best I could do for a joke. That's the best I could do for a joke. Metroid jokes are stunningly difficult to come up with. <laughs> so I so I so I threw in the towel. <laughs> Oh. All right, my friends. Yes, I hope you're doing well. Let's see who's here. Cows are important. Welcome in, cows. First in chat. Master Tuesday. Happy to have you here as well. Even if you are, even if you are redeeming all of the channel points right away and burying me with nonsense. Jelly, happy to have you here as always. And Mile Hyrule, welcome in. Who can turn that frown upside down? The frown man can. I'll do my best. I'll do my best, Mile Hyrule. So yeah, I've been I've been having a I've been having a rough couple of days. <laughs> I've been having a rough week. First uh first I've got all my troubles with my foot, and then and then Jelly fell on the ice yesterday and uh so she needs help. She needs me to help move her around. It's really a thrown a wrench in my schedule. <laughs> oh, but we are, but we are making it through. <laughs> nice Master Tuesday. I'd tell you a metro. I'd tell you a Metroid joke, but. I ran out of them. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so we've got uh, magic beans. We've got spicy peppers. We've got a stretch break. I got a lot of stuff to do here before we get moving. Um, so tonight, a little bit of Metroid, I think, and then um, a lot of Silent Hill 2. Um, it may be... It may be a somewhat shorter stream tonight. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I'm gonna leave myself. Uh, I'm gonna leave myself some flexibility to 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 maybe wrap up an hour or so early, um, because now I've got to. Uh, I've got to make sure that I'm uh, up in time in the morning to. Uh, to uh, get Jelly ready for work and to and to drive her in. All right, so bean. The cats are gonna take over. We're both out of commission, so the cats are gonna take over the house. I hope you're wrong, Mile High Rule. <laughs> All right, and I get to start. We're starting off strong tonight with the. Uh, with the vomit or peach bean. And it's almost certainly going to be vomit. <laughs> so what a, what a way to get back into things. Come on, peach. Oh, thank goodness. It is peach. I win the bean. Oh, glorious, delicious, good bean. Win on the bean, lose on the chili. Well, see, that's the thing. There's really no way to win the spicy. Uh, there's really no way to win the spicy pepper. You had one, too. You had a peach bean, too, Mile High Roll. Excellent. I'm happy for you as well, and thank you for the uh, solidarity.
So spicy pepper, I've cut much larger spicy pepper chunks than I probably should have. <laughs> this is a Serrano pepper, my, uh, my go-to pepper. Someday, someday I would like to do spicier peppers. I tried once, but uh, the ones I got weren't actually any spicier. They're just, they're very difficult to find. Mine are just regular beans. What? I feel deceived. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very watery pepper. I don't think it's going to be very hot. I don't think it's going to last. It's so, it's so juicy. That doesn't really translate into heat though. It's okay. It's okay. I got kind of lucky. You know what? I would say I won the bean and the pepper. I got kind of lucky with both. <clears throat> I do feel it. I do feel it in my in my gut a little bit though. Maybe I should bring that music up a little bit. It feels really quiet. So at my grocery, they carry jalapeno, serrano, habanero, and fresno. Those are all the spicy peppers they carry. The fresno peppers are really annoying to buy because for whatever reason, they don't have them. They've had fresno peppers in their store for like two years and you can never get them to ring up properly. I feel like, ow, I feel like I'm the only person who buys them. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to move over to uh, Metroid Dread here. Go ahead and get Samus out of the way. Oh, we've got a stretch break to do first. I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have killed the music. Habanero might be too hot to eat alone. That see, that's my fear. Mile high rule. It's like I wanted to work, I wanted to work my way up and get some like hotter peppers, and I could have done that. I could have done that a little over a year ago, because we used to have uh, a lot of like outdoor farmers markets where you could buy produce and people would bring and sell different types of uh, spicy peppers there but those kind of went away We need to find one of those subscription boxes, but one that has peppers and send them to Frowny. Oh, that's a good idea. A random spicy food subscription box? That could be a lot of fun. That probably exists, right? Or moved a hot sauce to a teaspoon of hot sauce. I thought about that too. I thought about just getting some different like hot sauces and and subbing those in for peppers. I didn't know if that would feel 
underwhelming or not, though. It is an option. Okay. So this is this is what I expect to be our last uh session of Metroid Dread, and I don't feel like we probably have a whole lot of the game left, though I could be very mistaken. Items, 100%. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? What a, what a ride. What a ride. Finding all those items. Tough. Thank you for the trophies. I saved all my buttered popcorn beans for last. Only got three of them. I'm sorry. I, I cannot relate to your disappointment, Mile Hyrule. Three, brother, three buttered popcorn jelly beans? Sounds like a horrifically high number. Just trying to remember how to play the game. Rhenia. So, my advice to anyone who's going for 100% uh, of the items in this game... Maybe don't. <laughs> be prepared. Be prepared to have a really rough time if you if you do. I'm really glad I did, but I also feel like I also feel like a couple of them are pretty hard, and one of them one of them is downright unfair. Some of them are really, some of them are really challenging in an excellent way. Like some of them are, are super hard, but you feel really smart when you figure them out. Finally, at least I did. that go to go over here let's take the teleporter I'm gonna keep buying bags until I have like 20 butter popcorn beans and we'll have a good time with them
I saw that like blob of X parasite moving across the screen and I thought it was Samus. I was just really confused for a moment. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Brownie, I'm so hyped! I get January first to sixth off. Right on. You have any? Uh, you have any big plans? Silent Hill Marathon. Doing nothing at all. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. No joke, I'm I'm not leaving the house for any of it and just relaxing and playing video games and watching movies. Cow says that's my favorite kind of vacation. <laughs> I'm partial to that type of vacation myself. I'm a I tend to be a, a pretty extreme homebody. Okay, here we go. Last area of the game, I believe. Iterash. like the design of Samus's helmet in this game. It looks like she has no chin. Are you ready, Frowny? As ready as I'll ever be, I suppose, Master Tuesday. I expect I'm I expect I'm going to die a whole lot. Most of the bosses in this game have been really, really tough, so... Whatever's at the end. It's probably just as awful.
I hope, I hope whatever that was wasn't important. Another elevator. This is this is quite the dramatic buildup. It's probably fine. <laughs> it appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Your proton beams must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Kota. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Makan DNA. Metroids are programmed to identify Makan as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a grave threat to the galaxy. However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your Metroid powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Glad I don't play this game for the story. <laughs> no. No. I can explain if an explanation is needed. I mean, none of it made any sense to me.
So uh, sure, I'd be I'd be happy to take a look at your explanation, Master Tuesday. Though I probably. I probably won't uh, won't actually read it until the credits start rolling. Stay out of the corner. if I could have countered that with a melee attack. No, stay, just stay away. Holding unnecessary buttons and making life more difficult. My goodness. All right, all right, so I will go ahead and read this. Okay, so background story Ridley killed Samus's parents. And she was raised by the Chozo back on Zebus. I, I knew that. Problem was, Zebus is a not fun place for humans, so she was given a genetic transplant so she could survive on the planet. This has been canon for ages, but now it's been revealed that in addition to the Toha genes, she also had Malkin genes added to grant her superhuman fighting skills. And Raven Beak himself was the donor for the Malkin genes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'd ever heard of a Toha or a Malkin before. <laughs> Hooked on Pot, welcome in. Thank you for the bits, Hooked on Pot. Very kind of you. Thank you for the 250. And uh, welcome to what I think is the end of Metroid Dread. I'm, uh... I'm off to a bad start with the with this boss here. Uploading data. Uh. It appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Uh don't be mocking jeans. I would never I would never dream of ridiculing pants, Idorama. Welcome to the welcome to the stream, Itty.
Oh, what a rough, what a rough time. Hey, we've got raiders coming in. Hey, welcome in. Uh, Bongo Pigs, good to see you, Bongo. Hope that you are having a fine night tonight. Welcome to, uh, welcome to what I think is the end of Metroid Dread, and welcome to your friends. Very happy to have you join us. Welcome in, is that a uh, Cooner P and Batman? <laughs> Happy to have you here as well. Thank you for the follow Cooner P as well. Cooner P or Cooner Pie? Um, you're almost done with this game. I believe so. So I've collected, I've collected 100% of the items. And now I'm fighting who I believe to be the last boss. And it's not going particularly well. Look at this. What's going on? How in the world did you get down here? You're not supposed to be in the basement. <laughs> How did he get down here? I don't understand. This is Inky. We call him Beans sometimes. Well, we usually call him Beans. Uh, hey, you need to go back upstairs. He looks pretty affectionate. He usually is. He's a. Uh, we have three cats. He is the. Uh, he is the friendliest of our three cats. He also really doesn't like when I bring him on stream. I think because I talk very loudly near him, and that upsets him. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna step away for just a moment. Let me put him back upstairs. <laughs> I'll see you again very shortly, my friends. All right, so sorry, sorry for that little interruption there. <laughs> a somewhat, uh, a somewhat pleasant surprise. Um, I love the skeleton behind you. Yeah, that's uh, that's Isaac. Uh, oh, he's on which side is he on? I can't tell. There we go. He uh, he hangs out down here with me. <laughs> Batman, Batman1563, thank you for the follow as well. You were very kind, my friends. Um, use the elevator. <laughs> we're trying to. This boss took me at least three hours? Oh no! Cat interruptions are always acceptable. <laughs> it appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. I'm going to get a lot of stuff and just play it before I stream the Switch to get better at it. Fair enough. The first time I beat The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I was up for 72 hours. I remember, I don't remember my first playthrough of that game super well. I remember I got it for, uh, I got it for Christmas when it came out.
I remember a lot of my, uh, I remember my some of my classmates being very annoyed because, those, because a couple of us got that game for Christmas that year, and then it was all we would talk about for weeks and weeks and weeks. Everything I'm doing is bad. do about anything he does. This battle, this battle is very intense. Same here. <laughs> thank you for the, uh, thank you for the additional bits hooked on pot. Thank you for the 271. Make sure you use every button perfectly. Uh, that's what a lot of this game seems to be about. <laughs> Use all the buttons, use them perfectly all the time. <laughs> oh, I think that uh, I think that emote that you just unlocked, hooked on pot. I think that emote is going to be really, really useful for this stream. <laughs> I need more emotes.
Yeah. When I first played as Samus on the 64 Smash Bros, I had no idea she was a girl. I just thought it was the armor. I, um... I actually don't remember... I feel like I don't remember a time when I didn't know that Samus was a lady. I'm trying to think. I think that was uh, probably already well known by the time I was even made aware of the Metroid franchise. Has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. You found out from an Easter egg video. I think I'm supposed to slide under that attack, but... I just... I just can't spend any brain power trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Thank you, cows, for uh, clearing the villains from the from the chat. That was good. That like that looked like an opportunity. I wasted it. But I learned something maybe. I learned I learned that the that the energy orb is too strong for me. I'm tearing down my stream studio. We'll be lurking here and cheering you on in the background. Thank you, Bongo. And uh, tearing down. I hope this is for uh, 
I hope this is for good reasons. I hope that this is a that like you're moving or you're making improvements or something. And thank you for the bits. Thank you for the fifteen bits. <laughs> Cal says, sorry, chat, no getting famous for you. You got this, you always do. Thank you, Hooked on Pod. I appreciate your uh, I appreciate your confidence, especially when mine is somewhat low. <laughs> but I uh, I think I think we'll do it. Just a matter of just a matter of learning what to do. All right, so we're gonna pause for a moment and have a bean. This box is almost empty. There's only like two left, maybe? Yeah, there's only two left. Nope, nope, nope. Three. Anyway, what do we get? Ugh. It's green. So the green, the green one is either pear or booger. I got lucky with the first bean. I did not get lucky with the second bean. <laughs> oh. part the worst part is trying to swallow them and <laughs> I just make it worse the longer I chew the bean the more I have to endure it <laughs> but it's like I have to suffer with it for longer the more I chew it but that's the more time that I get to put off the worst parts <laughs> uh. Yuck. Oh. Tearing down because it's temporary set up in my living room. Just packing it up. That's all right on. Bye, TV time. Right on. Uh, thank you for the, uh, thank you again for the follow, Batman. And we'll see you again. Oh. I'll always get to remember that moment from the game. Turned gold for a moment. He's still gold. Wow. 
He's taunting me. I don't like the gold version of him. That worked. Victory. Not victory. Kind of a, I guess I did that right. Kind of a weird action sequence, but. I did that poorly. No. No. Doing a great job at pressing the wrong buttons. I'm in trouble.
careful, Frowny. He's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> See, Frowny, that's why you should always parry the bosses. Every single boss in the game has an action sequence like that. You just don't parry their attacks to get them. I mean, I feel like it's mandatory for this fight. And unfortunately, it's not the kind of thing that I'm good at. But we're going to try to learn to pull it off. I need to watch for when he moves like that because that's my chance and I waste it every single time. Stop stomping on me. I don't want to see this. Pot. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the 200. Oh, that's not the way to go. Well, we saw something new. It was... 
It was tremendously terrifying. But we saw something new. You survived a while there. Maximum burb mode. <laughs> uh. That's... No, it didn't work. Messed that up twice. This is the hardest Mega Man boss ever. <laughs> How am I messing that up so much? Get it together, Frowny.
mode. Time that I time that so poorly. At least, at least we hung in there for a while.
for the uh, thank you for the bits, Bongo. Thank you for cheering me on. Still fighting. gonna last much longer. <laughs> I really wish I didn't have to ride this elevator every time. <laughs> It'd be nice if it would just uh if it would just put me up here next to Adam. I mean I get it, but uh. We still, we still love you. Thank you, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you for the support. That's not Adam. No. I mean. Might as well be. I never liked Adam anyway, so.
what am I doing? I'm falling apart. I was doing okay, but I'm definitely not anymore. No. <laughs> uh, what a villain. What a villain. That's what the big reveal was for. It was Adam the entire game. I I get it, Master Tuesday. I, I you know I'm I'm pretty dense, but even I followed that. <laughs> uh. Black Fox, welcome to the stream, and thank you for the uh, spicy pepper. This is... This is not correct, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Through your skill and improvement, you have overcome this mighty enemy who is more powerful than you. Oh, they're still alive. And stronger. And wings. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> My bad, I was the dense one on my playthrough and didn't pick up on it. No, no worries. No worries. I just figured that was a result of my typical not paying attention to the to video game stories that you... Just expected that you just expected I'd been paying so little attention. <laughs> because that is the kind of thing I might do. Uh, all right, pepper time. This piece of pepper is much worse. I regret turning the peppers back on. <laughs> it's not actually like... It's not actually spicy up top for me. It's it's all down in my stomach tonight. Ah. <sighs> It's like a, it's like a hot, heavy weight down in my gut. Uh. 
Uh, Black Fox says, I hope all of chat had a peaceful holiday. I had a pretty, I had a pretty good holiday. I've been, uh, I've had a lot going on though. So for anyone who came here, uh, for anyone who came here late, uh, Jelly fell on the ice the other day, if you didn't see in the Discord, and, uh, tore something in her knee or, or strained it at best. So she's moving around on crutches now, and that's kind of put a, kind of put a wrench in our schedule. <laughs> So I feel like the uh, I feel like the counter attacks are mandatory to get him to move through his phases. I hope when he grows wings, I don't know. I haven't seen an opening for any parry attacks when he has wings yet. I imagine they're there, and I'm just missing them. really prefer to finish off that form of him just with regular attacks. Oh no. Just keep circling around him and firing missiles, but I don't know if I'm going to get what I want. Hey, we got some raiders coming in. 
Norin Rad. Thank you for the uh, raid, Rad. I am in the middle of a desperate battle for my life. Welcome to, uh... Welcome to what I think is the end of Metroid Dread, though, uh, we have been and may continue to be here for a while. <laughs> Welcome to your friends. Um, so anyone here, anyone here, if you, uh, You don't follow Rad. He's got some. He's got some very great retro content. He's got a very high production value stream on a space station with lots of comedy. So you might want to check it out. Concentrate. I'm. I'm trying. No, it's all going to fall apart again. He tore his own wing off. I'm not ready to learn another phase. What do I do about this? Oh, I see. It's a disaster. <laughs> what in the world? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> okay, well, we, we saw something new. We've made it farther. Oh. This game is pretty wild. <laughs> oh, let me just see if I missed anything. Welcome in, Desi's butt. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for the follow. <sighs> Just win. Don't worry about the way, the rain. Worst rain ever? No, I wouldn't say that at all, Red. We're happy to have you here. Oh, what a crazy battle. Looked on pot. Thank you for the bits. <clears throat> Actually, it looks like a really cool boss fight. It is, uh, it's all right. It's, uh, it's kind of like somewhat heavily, heavily reliant on, uh, successfully pulling off counter attacks, which is not really my kind of thing, <laughs> but I'm getting slightly, I'm getting slightly more consistent at it. I'm still cool. Check this. I'll tear my own wing off without flinching. Pretty much. That's pretty much what he said. Just needed to prove he was still metal. <laughs> All 
Alright, well, we try again. That's the fastest I've ever gotten through phase one. <laughs> I'll, tr I'll try not to squander it, but <laughs> no promises. <laughs> No, I messed that up again. Did he even do that move at all last time? That, that seemed new. chance to counter him. Uh, I missed it though. No. 
no. Well, from the top. <laughs> I feel like this throne room is a really weird place for a Metroid game to end.
sweet fight sequence. It's very cinematic, some of these fights. If you do them right, I learned at the very end. Understand. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> You know it's going down when the ship is swathed in lightning. Thank you for the uh, bits, by the way, for Thumb Pop. Fourth phase was tough. All right. Oh, here we go. Escape sequence. supposed to be looking around for stuff or if I should just be running and enjoying this can I use this no I'm not particularly crazy about Samus's dragon form but it's okay <laughs> Can't open this door? I guess not. I feel like, I feel like maybe I poked around too much. <laughs>
for Spiky Samus. <laughs> what an abrupt ending! What? <sighs> Frowny, check your items screen when you get a chance. I'm afraid I missed it, Master Tuesday. Thank you for the trophies. Thank you for the GG. Thank you for the bits, hooked on pie. The Metroid suit looks awesome, I reckon. <clears throat> Wow, what a last what a last boss. <laughs> oh, what a time. I'm uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of beaten down. <laughs> <sighs> that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I would say it's probably Probably my second favorite of the Metroid games I've, that I've played. I think I still, I think I still like Super Super Metroid better. Um, but this game is this game's really good. I definitely I like this one way better than um, uh, Zero Mission or Fusion. And this is the only of the of the, the now four Metroid games that I played. This is the only one that I've um, one hundred percented though. So as much as I as much as I as I as I loved Super Metroid, I didn't feel the need to one hundred percent it like I did with this one. Oh, but a very very good time. The bosses, the bosses in this one are so tough. I suppose that they're, I suppose they're much, much easier if you, um, if you understand and use the, uh, parry attacks though. <laughs> If you parry, if you parry boss attacks, you get a short and cool cutscene where you can just wail on them with no ramifications. Yeah. sure how uh, I'm not sure how long these uh, credits are going to roll for the music almost sounds it sounds a little bit like the music at the end of Star Fox 64 There's a there's one particular melody in it that's almost identical. Thank you for the GG, Desi. Is it even possible to... Ooh.
Oh, there we go. 15 hours. See you next mission. Um, is it even possible to beat the bosses without parry? Uh, Hooked on Pot, I think I beat every boss without uh, without a parry attack until the last one. <laughs> I don't recall. Um, well, there may have been one. There may have been one other boss that I did a successful parry on. But I, I'm, I don't recall using it hardly ever until the end. <laughs> Impressive with my my man. Thank you, Rad. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna get a. Are we gonna get a little uh, selection of artwork here? This is cool. Can I get one for each game, maybe zero mission. No, what? Why did it show me zero mission art? Is this supposed to be a prequel? <laughs> I thought this was the last one. <laughs> what, why, what was the zero mission art for? It was nice, but I don't understand why it showed me that. Don't swap over just yet. There's cool stuff available now. All right, we'll take a look down in the uh, down in the extras. I kind of wanted to do that anyway, so yeah. Let's take a look. Ending rewards. There are six different ending rewards. I only got one of them. All right. Let's uh, take a look at our artwork here. So I suppose this is giving us some backstory. Craid. Ugh. Craid with his nasty belly buttons with stuff coming out of him all the time. I don't even like to look at him. This uh, futuristic touch panel he's using looks kind of like a uh, audio cassette tape. I can't say that this, uh, that most of this artwork means much to me. <laughs>
think we've looped, yeah. Okay. And then this piece that we've already gotten to enjoy. So I gotta beat this five more times if I wanna get all of these? I don't know about that. Mission log, tutorials. I don't actually want to watch the credits again. <laughs> uh. Last image had the Arbiter Halo vibes. I haven't ever played a Halo game. I will, uh, I will take your word for it. Black Fox. I'm not a, I'm not familiar with that universe. Thank you for the stretch break hooked on pot. All right, I think that's, uh, I think that's gonna be it. I don't, I don't really plan on doing a hard mode run. <laughs> At least, you know, not immediately after finishing it once So I think that's it. Uh, is there anything else I need to check out, Master Tuesday? That's it. That's what I figured. All right, my friends. So thank you for, <laughs> hey, thank you for coming along on the uh, Metroid Dread journey. Um, thank you for sticking with me through that last boss. That was a real struggle. Um, I don't know that I. I don't think I would say that, that was the hardest. I don't. I. I don't think that that was the hardest boss in the game. I still feel like that. Uh, that insect was probably harder i don't think I, I don't think it took me as long but i still but i feel like it was harder <laughs> for me this one took a long time but it was a longer battle too and i had to learn i had to keep learning new stuff that battle didn't change very much and it was still very brutal <laughs> but uh but yeah thank you for being here for this journey if you want to hang around uh, here with me we're gonna get switched over we're gonna head over to the playstation 2 and I'm going to continue my first playthrough of Silent Hill 2. And uh, if you thought this was rough. <laughs> if you thought this was rough. Silent Hill 2 is going real, real poorly at the moment. <laughs> in Sil Where we left off in Silent Hill 2, I am lost and confused and sad. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try and jump back into it and I'm gonna try to make some progress uh, No promises <laughs> uh. All right, so let's see if I can do this um, As always switching from a from an HDMI connection to a uh, composite connection uh, tends to uh, Tends to cause some issues so <laughs> Just uh, bear with me, and we'll we'll try and get switched over here. Simple name, welcome in. Good to see you. We just finished uh, we just finished Dread, and we're uh, we're heading over to uh, Silent Hill Two now.
bummed I missed it, but that would have spoiled it for me. It's on my to play list. Yeah, it's definitely Metroid Dread is definitely a game you don't want to spoil. So if you haven't if you haven't played it yet, then and you and you plan to, it's probably better to to miss it <laughs> until until you can get to it yourself. Okay, microphone appears to be working. We're almost there. It's also, it's also very low tech. My operation here. Or I guess unpolished might be. A good way to describe it. I can't tell if we have audio or not. I was saying, I think I hear it. It's just real low. <laughs> <clears throat> I wasn't ever into Resident Evil games, but I watched a playthrough of the newest one. What an awesome experience of a game. Yeah, Resident Evil, I'm a little bit familiar with. I really liked, I got really into Resident Evil 2 on the N64 and, um, and the remake on the GameCube. That's a, uh, I think that's it with my experience though, it's just those two games really. It'll probably be ages and ages before I have a machine powerful enough to play any of the more uh, any of the more recent Resident Evil games.
and one last thing. Thank you for your patience, my friends, during this clunky transition process. Did I say did I say Resident Evil 2? I'm playing I'm playing Silent Hill 2 right now. I may if I said Resident Evil 2, I misspoke. We're playing Silent Hill. <clears throat> and I'm I am continuing a save. We've played uh we've played a couple hours of it already. All right. So, here we go. Let me go ahead and Split my recording and restart it. <clears throat> 